mathematics you need to got simple mathematics you can solve some of the classical equations and get the final solution to one of the what you call basic problem the wherever there are fluid wherever there is rotation then you see raw the wave generating and for those of you who are interested in the hard for mathematics there is what we call a specific there is what called a book called rotating fluids by screens and you can write that but that is highly complicated because you see rotating fluids or or there for example another innovator on the great discover of the modern metrology professor jul gregory charney jg charney he wrote a what is called treatise or a brief what is called description or to say is actually a theory planetary fluid dynamics planetary fluid dynamics so this type of analysis what do we part of it what we learn today yesterday we already seen some day before we have seen some of the thing so all our planetary fluids so he he is this type of work is actually planetary fluid dynamics and also please understand the meteorology as near before for example 1939 those days was essentially descriptive descriptive in the sense the prediction particularly because a main part or main object to of the meteorology to give a forecast this is very what to call connotation to medicine for example please pay attention medicine also has practice plus research in our case also there is practice plus research for example in the case of medicine if there is a patient whether you know whether you know the theory the all those things it doesn't matter you have to treat him give a drug so that he is cured in our case also whether you know theory or not you have to give a forecast and you are paid for that then you should come to as far as possible and just like in the medicine there are other parts of the medicine where people do research about the drugs you know not for curing and all same thing in our case also we have to do research to improve the forecast the same in the case of medicine they have to do research to improve the treatment just like that and another very important probably for all of you to know is the best of medicine for those first year student first few year student whether they later on specialize dermatology ophthalmology they all study they all study and automate and they may not use it later for those dermatologists you will not use an automate but they this what do call anatomies basic history and i particularly feel i personally feel in our care an automate the theory of bear clinical instability one of the first theory dal in 1947 by professor jul gregory charme i think it is an automate of mitra i would have to know it and because naturally most of the meteorologists who actually discovered some of these things they they live and still live of the in middle and high land naturally the original improvement of forecast was all done for the middle and high land further compared to the middle and high land north of 30 degrees north to south of the 30 degrees south that is south of 30 degrees south where we all live where monsoon fed this or much more complicated than north of 30 degrees north in any case 
the best forecasts in the world today is in the middle and high latitude in winter. Why? Because whatever you model you take, whatever you model you take, even the simplex, if you include the physics of the change, the weather change, that is simple barotonic instability, it will be good, good for that. In winter, you mean mechanism, you mean physics of the weather change is by barotonic instability that was discovered. And in the case of middle and high tide loads, the dynamics is controlled. The so-called, because my approach is always fluid dynamic. So the fluid dynamic, fluid being atmosphere, fluid being atmosphere, could be the ocean also, is controlled by the long barotonic waves. And their growth, because we are interested in the growth. Why? Because the original innocently small depression of the pressure by about say two or three degrees. It grows, is it not? As it grows, two to the depression, thousand to nine ninety eight, nine ninety seven, nine ninety six, nine ninety. As it becomes more the word we use deep. See, the word we use deep. Deep means what? Compared to the surface, it becomes very low. When as it becomes low, we all know the wind is directly proportional to what? Not pressure. Pressure? Gradient. But whatever it is, as the depression becomes more and more intense, the wind grows, means kinetic energy is increased. When the kinetic energy is increased, since energy total is constant conservation of energy, it is transformed from one form of the energy to the other form of the energy. This theory is mainly for the growth of the disturbances for prediction of the very, very complicated weather producing disturbances in the middle and high latitude, the so called extratropical cyclone. Eventually, eventually leading to what are called fronts, and that is complicated. The development of the front is essentially a non-linear phenomenon. Why? Because the x extent, the x extent is quite big. The y extent is small. So it is not like x damage y dimension equal to a linear problem. So it is actually non-linear. And luckily for us, these things are not there. These monsters are not there in our in the trouble. But as you all know, we have different types of monsters. Inevitably, monsters are also there, like tropical cyclone. And what is the theory? How these tropical monsters grow is still a big question particularly in the North Indian Ocean, which are relevant for it. In the case of Middle and High Land, please pay attention. Please pay attention that the so-called monsters, whether they occur in the United States, whether they occur in Britain, whether they occur in China, North China, in the theory, the mechanism is basically the same. Whereas in the case of Trovic, each region is very different to the other region. Why? Because in the case of middle and high latitude, the interaction is mainly between the same scale. Because it is actually, maybe you all know now, P bar to P prime, P prime to K prime. The available potential energy mean to perturbation available potential energy and from perturbation available potential to perturbation kinetic energy. That is the link. And in this, there is no liberation of collective uh, concept for the energy growth. And that is essentially simple barotonic instability. And please pay attention, that is all on the same scale. When you come to the tropics, and just giving an introduction, now you go to the main problem. 
And in the case of tropics, there is clearly an interaction between the convection scale, the cloud scale of one to two kilometer, one or two kilometer, and the growth we are interested in the synoptic scale of about 500 meters. 500 meters of that size, whether it is monsoon depression, whether it is a tropical cycle of that. How this happens, the scale interaction, how the energy generated in cloud scale is finally given to the synoptic scale is still a big question. And unlike in the middle latitude, try to appreciate this. This is a fundamental importance. In the case of middle and high latitude, the same any longitude, any, any longitude set. Whereas in the case of which the interaction between the energy generated in cumulus to the energy gets transferred into the large scale, how it happened and what is the mechanism behind is still very complicated. Apparently, apparently, this type of interaction seems to vary from one region to the other region, unlike in the middle land. And within one region, from one season to the other. We know very well that what we get in pre and post monsoon, during the monsoon, that's very different. We know during the monsoon, we have typically monsoon depressions. Whereas pre and post monsoon, we have intense, very, very destructive, dangerous tropical cyclone. And there are already indications, please pay attention. We are all students, we are going to investigate. So this is another very, very important in the context of the inevitable climate change that is already happening, how the tropical cyclones change. There is already indications that the tropical cyclone may decrease in number, but the intensity seems to increase. And how it affects our population, unlike in the middle latitude, the tropical cyclone, we all know, essentially occur in ocean. They have Bengal, Arabian Sea, and it enters the continent. Once it enters the continent, that's where the destruction starts. And we all know the poorer section, the poorer section of the Indian population live mainly along the coast. And they are virtually unprotected. And the, as the cyclone enters, normally the cyclone crosses the pole at the highest intensity. Because as you develop the ocean, as it goes into the water, into the continent, at that stage it is the highest. But once it crosses the continent, the, it decreases mainly because of the friction. But as it crosses, the lot of flooding tidal waves, all those things, and our unprotected population along the coast is very, very dangerous, is it not? And also, for example, in the case of Bangladesh, in the case of Bangladesh, it's well known that the continent is below the sea level. So, once it starts, everything gets inundated. And another important fact is, in the context of the climate change, Maybe I'm going a little bit too much away, but it's very important for us to know as some of the topics you may take for PhD thesis and all. Anyway, there are clear indication that in the context of the climate change, the tropical cyclone apparently seemed to penetrate more into the continent, further north, further north, but also slow. So some of the facts it has already been verified many places, but still, in the case of North Indian Ocean, still a big question. You all should investigate some of these problems. Whether the tropical cycle, in the context of the climate change, whether they are decelerating or not, whether they are entering 
more into the continent and the north. They are entering more to the north or not. But it is generally accepted that in the context of climate change, the tropical cyclone seems to be becoming slow. That is mainly because, pay attention again, in the case of the low latitude, general circulation, it seems to be known as a deceleration of the general winds. So, the so called steering current, which actually drives the tropical circle, is slowing down in the winter circle. As <clears throat> another dangerous property, slower the tropical cycle, higher the rainfall. So, as they become sluggish, as they become sluggish, they give more rain, more inundation, and uh, they seem to penetrate more into the continent, further north. So some of these things are typical climate change indications. So some of you should take up this problem because we all know it is very, very disruptive. And some of these people, particularly on the coast people, they cannot protect themselves. If you can give forecast, reliable forecast, reliable forecast and also skillful forecast that can be used maybe to evacuate and reduce the destruction of the life and livelihood. Anyway, some of these problems are very, very important. And you see and try to appreciate the complication, fundamental difference from the point of view of the theory between middle and high latitude and the drop. In the case of tropics, every region you have to do yourself. If somebody does for a different region, you cannot apply. It doesn't applicable to our region. You have to do yourself. Who to do? You only have to do it. Nobody else will do it. Anyway, coming back to um, I will take another five minutes. Anyway, my stress in this, probably I may come sometime later again. Today I talked to the director. He suggested he may invite at a later time for about one or two months. Maybe I'll give a series of talks, a regular course or something like that. So, but anyway, today on the 18th night I am going away. Sir, shall I move? Anyway, now to attain the local. So, continuing, uh, okay. Now, as I said, the original Rosby discovery of the Rosby wave, he said, I don't want to complicate you know, the mathematics. Is it not? I don't want to treat spherical geometry. I don't want to treat non-linear equation. Is it not? So, as I gave the title, in this case, as you make, pay attention, as you make approximation, you are surely reducing the generality of the problem. You are missing some of the details. So, when you make simple, when you make simple, zonally average, medianally average, time average, zonal wind, what you get are the so-called neutral waves. That is, in the model of the original Rossby, there is no energy share, there is no energy source from which disturbance can attract energy and grow. So, this theory cannot explain the growth of the disturbance. Nevertheless, this is the first discovery of the nature of the so-called Rossby waves. So, in this case, he did not use the spherical geometry, although we all know Earth is typically spherical and there is a rotation and he uses something extraordinary already in 1939, 1939, he used so-called beta plane. What is beta plane? I explained. If we imagine a cylinder, 
with the earth inside, it has you increase the radius. For the diameter, it becomes virtual like a plane. If it touches the equator, it's called equatorial beta plane. F, the Coriolis parameter, if you expand in stainless steel, is not. F is called F0, dm by dy, dy plus 1 by 2 factorial, d square f by dy square into dy square, like that the series. And in this, this case, if you take, pay attention, linear terms only. Where is linearity? Y. F by dy into dy. The other term, 1 by 2 factorial, d square by df, dy square, dy square. So it is non-linear. If you take only linear term, approximate, f is equal to f, 0, the constant, then beta, another constant, into y. And rather, so pay attention another very important thing. Whenever you say approximate, whether it is hydrostatic approximate, whether it is quasi just approximate, whether it is a beta plane approximate, they are all approximation to what? To reality. So, there is a limit, limitation of applicability of this type of theory. And when you can use beta plane, when you cannot use beta plane. I have one paper which I wrote in 1939. There, because 1939, 1939. Is it not? So long, long back. Anyway, there, I analyzed the so called beta plane. Anyway, without going into the details, when the beta plane approximation is valid, if you have the scale of the waves, L, for example, if A is the radius of the Earth, well, the scale of the disturbance, that is, if you assume a sine wave from one point to the same point again of the field, the distance is known as the wavelength. For the wave, what are the properties? Wavelength, amplitude, and phase. These are the three important. So the wavelength is L divided by A, radius of the Earth. If it is of the order of, because in all this, the so-called another great invention, another great discovery, Professor Jules Gregory Charney, in our case, in the case of Vitron, is what's called scale analysis. It's somewhat similar to the diameter analysis. What? Scale analysis, semi quantitative. Pay attention, semi quantitative means what? It's not a complete analytical solution. Suppose if V equals to x square. If you have solution is complete, it's not like, it is some sort of an approximate, it is some sort of an semi quantitative thing. But again, in the case of Rossby, because of a tremendous insight into a meteorological phenomena, he knows, as I was saying earlier, where to go, how to go, and also he doesn't want to complicate mathematics. But he wants a theory, mathematical theory. It means what? You want a quantitative theory. That is important. Try to understand, try to appreciate the difference between qualitative and the quantitative theory. Synoptic meteorology is mainly qualitative. Why qualitative? Synoptic meteorology. If I give a chart, there are numbers. There are numbers are there. Numerical only. When I give a chart to you, to her, and the your prediction for the next day depends on you. And the, her prediction depends on what you call imagination, experience, all that. In the case of this type of theory, it doesn't depend on the person. That's why it is objective. The other one is subjective, depending on the person. So, the already in 19, early 40s of those years, Meteorology, which is mainly descriptive, subjective, it has become more quantitative, theoretical, fluid dynamics. And now today, 
a guarantee that in meteorology, the more atmospheric and oceanic sciences amongst the geosciences, like geology, geophysics, many, many deep mathematics, highly quantitative and more physical, a lot of physics in it. And today's <coughs> thanks to some of the deep thinkers like Roland, Joel Gagarichan, Crosby. That's why, as I was saying earlier, while you read students, sir, because my book is just so uh, for you student, how to read? Because you are short in job. If you read a newspaper, you read and throw it. Whereas if you take a Bible, what you call Bhagavad Gita, Quran, none of those have inner thing, what you do is Parayana. Read, read, read. So, some of the people, you should be able to distinguish between a newspaper and a Bhagavad Gita. That depends on your education. And the teachers will tell you, I will tell you that all these authors, Charlie, Lord, Phillips, like that, you should read like Bhagavad Gita. Read again, read again. Surely, first time is very difficult to understand. First time is very difficult to grasp the message they want to convey. So, <coughs> Lawrence, for example, he, had, he was a mathematical professor from Harvard. So, I myself tried several things. It's very, very difficult. But still, you can get to the how do you say in Telugu, you say Saransa, the main, what do you call, uh, is my stage. Let's say, if you read the introduction, if you read the conclusion, you get the idea. You see? Some of his, one of his very, very famous paper, almost like a discovery, he discovered a new branch of modern science with deterministic non-periodic flow. 1963, what? What is called the chaos theory. Although he did not get a low prize, he got what is called Kyoto Prize. Very, very important, the 1963 paper. So you can read that, and normally they are all, you see, suppose there is a mountain on the, the plain road. You go to the plain road, reach there. On the other hand, you start going on the mountain. Once you read, and somehow struggle to reach the top, you feel happy because you could achieve that. You could reach the top. Something similar in the case of these papers also. If you understand, you definitely feel happy that you understood something new, some new idea, new theory in our branch of science. There are many, many articles in all, but in our science, there are certain articles where I repeat, you read like newspaper, because today there are at least 30 journals every month, each 10, 300 per month, 3,600 per year. Is it not? It goes on. It goes on. You cannot read all of them. And many of them are like newspaper. Don't worry. So, but there are some, like the classical, you have to read. And once you read and understand, I guarantee you get the intellectual pleasure. Because just like you're reading the cliff of the mountain, okay, I, I could reach there. You will reach there, you understand the meaning of it, you understand, you attain, and you gain a new knowledge. Gain a new knowledge. Anyway, now, this is another very, very important book I have. And uh, I will not leave now. Because I have only one copy. But you can get it. You can get it. It's not, it's not, you have to pay for it. So, again, the idea of this book, you see, it's edited by Barry Solomon. He did not write any paper in that. There's no paper in that. But he only wrote preface. The preface itself is very, very important. In this book, you see, he, Treats three types of thermal convection. First, patency, horizontally uniform heating. 
already horizontally uniformly eating without rotation horizontally uniformly eating without rotation and in this case this is called bernard convection the classical problem bernard convection what happens say suppose you have a tea cut you know tea cut, and then heat from behind behind film from below and now the lower layers get heated up higher layers are cooler and the gradient the temperature gradient builds up the lower layer higher upper layer lower is it not upper layer lower it goes on increase and uh, when it reaches some value given by what's called the rayleigh number the rayleigh number then it becomes unstable or there is what's called a leachatis principle in nature in equilibrium in nature in equilibrium if you disturb the equilibrium nature tries to get back to the previous equilibrium and adjust itself so in the tea kettle the original equilibrium some temporary gradient in the vertical virtual no temperature gradient and you artificially developing temperature gradient higher temperature in the lower layers lower temperature in the higher layers so when it given certain value the so called rayleigh number it exceeds that then what happen then it becomes some sort of what they call convection what is the convection the lower hot water goes up the higher cold water comes down it is a sort of circulation this is called bernard convection classical theoretical problem because as i have been saying my stress in this class is to push towards the theory the fluid dynamics that's how it has transformed our science today as i repeated in saying okay from a very very descriptive science and many people used to make fun of it all because general idea is if you give a fork a generally it goes wrong but another problem is suppose there are 30 days in a month it gives correct night 29 days it goes wrong one day people talk about only that the 29 they don't talk about that's typically like that they continuously make today no today we all know if you talk about any a little bit of knowledge of chaos theory by lawen is not then it is such a what to call all pervading god is said to be all pervading so this theory is something like you found that chaotic atmosphere is chaotic growth of population is chaotic growth of trees is also chaotic then later sometime much later than this story but the reporter asked you you could imagine that this will be such a all pervading theory you should know i never imagined you want to do only for meteorology but it has become a many like a new direction a new way of thinking but highly complicated mathematics is it not again but still although it's complicated you can read slowly the introduction and the conclusion get at least the basic idea but i suggest don't stop at this go to the mathematics what you call you go deep into the well and try to get the idea and like that you learn the mathematics also anyway so what i am saying to is my purpose here is to push towards the hard core theory so this is another theory of thermal convection so in this book professor barry solomon he was one of my phd examiners he did that so he teach first generally horizontally average no rotation it's called bernard convection it's a simple problem and just like the basic principle is the leachatis principle 
whenever you disturb the equilibrium, is it not? It tries to get back the equilibrium by throwing hot water above, cold water below, trying to reduce the equilibrium. This is what's called the convection. And then now a little bit of light moment. Think like that. I thought revolutions, French Revolution, for example. Human being is a natural phenomenon. Just like water or the human being. So you should create gradients in their living such that the social structure. Very, very rich people, very, very poor people. The typical French, I saw that film, A Tale of Two Cities. I saw big iron bars inside rich people, aristocrats. They feed their dogs with the meat and all. They are very, very poor, poor people. Without food, they will shave like that for food. So such a big contrast. Whereas for the rich people, it's fun. To feed dogs. But the poor pool is not fun. It is a question of existence, eating the dog. So once you create such a large disparity in a natural system, your way, there will be revolution. Typically, there is French revolution. Bolshevik revolution. You heard? Bolshevik revolution. Communist uprising in China. The so called Marxism, Leninism, right? Marxism, you all heard, communism. Karl Marx, you all should read, so you should make reading a habit. Don't spend unnecessary time wasting, is it not? Read Das Capital, wonderful book you should read. You should read all two books, very, very important. One, the Das Capital by the Karl Marx, and another, main camp, main camp, you know by whom? Hitler, Hitler. So <laughs> these two, you should read what happened. You see, one of the things fantastic about Hitler is he is five feet three or five feet four. Complete, uh, he was vegetarian, non-alcoholic, and uh, five feet three. But so he tried to occupy Germany by four, and he was beaten completely and put in jail. Single man, but. His confidence is so high that he should rule the world one day. Like what is called Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan was also like, he was put like that on wooden bars. Somebody told that in your hand, you will rule the world one day. And he believed that. He was like that, a slave from that stage. But he had tremendous confidence. Like Hitler also. And later on, you develop, we know now how it is. <coughs> <laughs> no. no. So what I am saying is, but this type of thing should have confidence, try to understand. And what is important is, as I was saying earlier, Rosby, Professor Rosby knows where to reach. And uh, he doesn't want to reach like any type. I am getting Portuguese word. Okay, J to this day. Anyway, somehow, no, you want to solve equations only. But I don't want to solve empirical problem. I don't want to solve ledger problem. I want to use simple cards and not geometry only. But I should get a theoretical solution. There is a Now, in this case, to which method we place? So, in this case, first, but Barry Solomon, it is three types of, there are three parts. What's horizontally uniform without rotation? The so called Bernard convection. Next, horizontally uniform plus rotation. And normally, that is, you all heard Subramanian Chandrasekhar, you heard? No, Indian Nobel Prize winner? Many of you maybe heard, is it not? Anyway, that is his problem. Once you introduce the rotation, rotation normally. Inhibits the convection. Normally, inhibits the third part, horizontally non uniform plus rotation. S atmosphere. S by equal to high temperature for lower temperature, horizontally non uniform rating 
plus rotation. Typically, h mass. That's why h mass with meteorology, fluid dynamics, whatever it is, is also a type of convection. That is the idea. That is the idea of this book. And in the third chapter, all on meteorology papers only. The third part, all on meteorology papers only. I purposefully showed you this book because, as I have been emphasizing, as I have been saying, stressing, trying to impress you, trying to go hard go to thief, learn more theory and try to get good theoretical understanding. That's why it is. Anyway, now coming back to our problem. Now, in the case of Rossby, you all understood what is beta plane. Approximation. As I was saying, beta plane approximation is valid only when L by A, L is the typical scale of the instrument, A is the radius, only when L is one order of magnitude less than the radius of L. Or L by A is the order of cross B number. Cross B number. Cross B number, you all know, U is not by F0L. It's 1 by 10. 1 by 10, typically. It's 1 by 10 mean compared to the time derivative d zeta by dt minus f d. If you divide, that will be the third. Isn't that? Again, as in the case of broad and deterministic non periodic law, the purpose is to discover nature. Nature. That's how, as I was saying, in the case of known price, on one side, I remove, I told you, there is a damsel, the hand removes the wheel. That means the known price discoverer, he discovers what is it called the secret of the nature. Remove the wheel of the nature. Again, these themes, the theory of chaos, all be will. These are all in the nature, discovering nature properties and the chaotic behavior of all natural phenomena. Is it not? Again, a grand discovery of what nature? Is it not? It's again in the nature. So, here again, Rossby wave are first of the early discoveries, rather than early now, first discovery of the Rossby wave. It is the equation, what you now you know, the total derivative of f plus zeta equals to zero. That is, F plus zeta equals to constant or conservation of absolute velocity. Now, is, as I was saying earlier, we didn't want to trade growing weight. We want to teach simple things. So, I mean, he made U bar, small average, medium average, vertical average. It doesn't change. So, there is no source in the model. And so, there is no way how the waves can extract energy. So what you get are essentially neutral waves. They cannot grow, only neutral. But nevertheless, there is an important discovery. So now, if you want to linearize, what is meant by linearization? Linearization again, I don't want to, as he was saying, Rosby, he doesn't want to treat particular spherical geometry you don't want to treat complicated legend of all At the same time, we want to be simple case, the simple solution. Although, better, although the simple solution, the solution is simplest, still it is the first discovery of <coughs> the so-called natural of we will in a rotating fluid. This rotating fluid could be Earth, this rotating fluid could be Sun, this rotating fluid could be Venus, this rotating fluid could be the Mars. And uh, this theory applies any rotating fluid, whether it is atmosphere, ocean. That's how his paper is published in Journal of Marine Research. 
Tabuino, there is type of rod we have in our house, atmosphere also, and all these rotating plants. I have two papers about the baroclinic instability of Mars, the general of geophysical research. When I was in Brazil, when a postdoctoral student came from PR, he wants to study theory of what you call Mars atmosphere. Mars is typically like that. What important is the rate of rotation. Mars rate of rotation is very similar to Earth's rotation. So, in this planet, it is fluid dynamic. So, this is a download, it's available. Unlike all time, about 60 years back, like that, you just put it like that, you get a bottle of olive oil. Charm, everything is available in the internet. It's a question of you reading it carefully. But although it is available, it's not easy to understand. So to sit on that, work hard, understand. Yeah. But it's about our time it's not about. When I started, there was only one small book. There are only three journals. Today there are at least 300. So that's how it is exploding the science, is it not? So in this case, he treated a simple neutral wave. When you make that d by dt, the total derivative of f plus theta equal to zero, then linear is this, means what? We treat individually each wave. There is no wave-wave interaction. Because in nature, patterns in nature, the wave can grow from the energy of the mean or from other waves. And the mean is typically barotropic instability, barotropic instability, and wave wave is non-linear. For example, U D U by D X. We expand in Fourier series. U, you get products like uh, sine square, cos square. Because sine x square, sine x square, that you can write as 1 minus cos 2x. So, x and 2x another wave is generated. If you have u and u, long linear, generate not only one wave x, but other waves are do it and do things like that. So these are wave-wave interactions. Those who want how it is in nature, what is the wave-wave interaction, how it happens. There is a wonderful paper. I remember there is B. Salzman, the same author, the same author, views of geophysics. Views of geophysics. He took observations. And the calculator, in the case of atmosphere, how is the non-linear interaction? How is the wave-wave interaction? But luckily, luckily, at least in the initial stages, mean to wave is much higher than the wave to wave. That is, the linear approximation almost becomes a value. So now, if it is put, as I was saying, the psi, the stream function, a psi cap into e to the power of ik into x minus theta, the so called normal mode, which apparently recently it doesn't exist. It's not a correct. Anyway, but still it was very, very useful to understand, to get a good idea of the dynamics. So I use that, and then finally, if you put into the Watson equation, and finally you get, you get the formula. The so called classical Rathvi formula, that is the top one, 17, 17, C equals to U or U bar, whatever it is, donal average, minus beta here square by 4 pi square, or U bar minus beta by K square, it gets the wave number. Say, one of the PhD days, please hear this. On the PhD day, 
came for interview here for IIT. You already, I don't, I don't tell where from he came at, what is it? Then Professor Goswami asked, what is it? 2 pi by L is a wave number. Is it not? 2 pi by L is a wave number. Wave number. But this has dimensions. L minus 1, is it not? The dimensions of K, 2 pi by L, and L minus 1 dimension. That is the number. That is the question he asked. Is it being the man or you were taking it wrong? Is it being? Where is the number? Where is the wave number? What is the wave number? Where is the wave number? We expect wave number means non dimensional. But this has dimensions. So you may also get this question interval. Be careful. So, even if you make complicated theory and law, the idea of telling this to you is, even if you make complicated theory and law, you should not forget basic simple things. What is linear? What is non-linear? What is wave number? Where is wave number in this? 2 by by L. Yes, dimensions L minus 1. The idea is greater. The circumference of the earth or the equator, how much? Or the equator, what is the circumference? 2 pi r. 2 pi a. A is ready. Is it not? 2 pi a is the circumference or the equator. It led to 5. How much? 5. It led to 5. What is the circumference? 2 pi a cos phi. 2 pi a cos phi is the circumference of the land. This is circumference. By L, the wave length. Is it not? L is the wave length. 2 pi a cos phi by L. A, A, no dimension. And 2 pi a cos phi by L, you got the number of L's or number of waves. And it is number only. Although it's simple, you should understand the simple thing. So, although you go to deep to solve a complicated mathematical equation, you should not forget the simple thing. And often, often in the interview, the grave process asks this type of simple question. So, to know whether you understood or not. Anyway, now you see in this, so in this, C equals to U minus beta by K square, where K is 2 pi by L, or beta L square by 4 pi square. Is it not? That is the classical cos B formula. There is another very, very important paper. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes. This is another excellent paper on the Rossby waves, Rossby waves, and uh, unlike Rossby, he starts treating a very, very simple, goes deeper, he talks about legend of all of you, and things of that sort. Don't worry about that. Try to understand. First, to read this Rossby 39. You can easily get, try to understand that. You can go to this paper, read only those parts you understand, leave mathematics. But if you want to understand, read to understand the mathematics, please go into that also. Okay? Now, in this case, if you finally see that C equals to U minus beta by K square, and that is C equals to U minus beta L square by 4 by square, pay attention, and then, Normally, U in the atmosphere is higher than beta by k square. So, Rossby waves in the S atmosphere typically move from west to east. C positive, C positive. But the classical Rossby wave in the ocean where there is no U bar. Typically propagates from east to west. That's its nature. Or the Rossby wave 
movement from east to west, what they call, please pay attention, retrogression from west to east in the positive extra direction is what? Progression. Positive extra direction is progression. On the negative x direction is retrogression. Normally, the classical rugby way in the ocean where there is no U is typically retrogression. Okay? On the table or on the table two? Two. Yeah, here, 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 this table. Now, beta do it on the value of beta. Ah, this table here, you see, Patterson, to defend, to defend beta plane approximation, taking F constant, Beta constant in 1939, those are all be calculated for 90 degrees to zero. Beta, you all know now, how much is beta? 2 pi? It is in the paper. Two omega plus y. Is it not? Df by dy equals to two omega cos y d phi divided by dy. dy is a d phi. So if you d phi d phi cross, then you get two pi. How much? A cos y by Two pi a cos phi d phi by a d phi. Two pi cos phi by a is beta. Because d phi d phi cancels. Is it not? Two pi a cos phi by a is beta. So it is a cos function. Phi is the latitude. At 90 it is zero. At zero it's higher. He has calculated this to defend the idea of the beta plane, beta is almost constant. He calculated the value. If you see near equator, it doesn't vary very much. He says some, he has put some 30 percent. You should read this paper, it is available. So, this is a plane, beta plane approximation. Beta plane approximation. Now, finally, in the case of the original Rosby problem, there are three terms. Do or partial derivative, do zeta of n o t equals to minus u, do zeta of n o x minus beta of e. Three terms. These three terms can, if you put psi equals to psi cap into e to the power of i k into x minus h, x to which must I put the next slide. In the near case in Boma, there's a figure I prepared. This one, yeah? oh, no, before, before. So my figure to explain. Now, this is the simple linear equation of the ROS. See, d zeta of it, it equals to u d zeta of it, yes, minus beta of v. E. Now, if you take uh, zeta is del square phi, is it not? Del square. Well, phi, this phi is a small phi, geo potential by f. Okay? It, it, you put a sine function, a sine kx. So, zeta del square phi is minus square square a sine kx. And put like this to convince you, please pay attention. In the case of 
zeta and phi, phi is a sign function. Phi is a sign function. And uh, if there is a law at the center, it's minimum. It's not. But the law at center is the minimum. Of what? Why? Your potential. But I derive to convince you. The center, because it's negative, minimum, it's maximum. But okay? center is minimum pressure, maximum for what city. So because if it is minus, 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 plus, okay? The sine function, law is negative. So negative, negative, positive. At the center of law, phi is lowest, zeta is the highest. I, I prepared this slide to convince you people. So now the term u is greater than zero. To the east of the center, to the east of the center, okay? Zeta what? Zeta decreases. Okay? Because it's maximum at the center. To the east it decreases. Anyway, you all have this? You all got this? You cannot, you cannot get this? You can you can chant all to every, every person. Yeah. Please chant to everybody. Now you see that circle is low at the center, pressure is lowest, but city is highest. To the east, there are ISO lines. There are ISO lines of what city? Plus three, plus two, plus one. Because to the east, what city decreases. Now, if you see <coughs> in the westerly, where U is positive, my purpose of discussion this is how it is very, very important. How each term controls the wave movement. This is the approach which Professor Murakami, the Japanese school, they teach this way. You can perceive, if you close the eyes, you see that. See now, there is u d by ds of theta minus beta of e. So that point x, where I put, at that point, X, is it not? Z, <coughs> that point, X, you see, D by DS of, D by DX of Zeta, is how much, positive or negative? You, please. Huh? Huh? Negative. negative. Because it decreases. So, D is negative, X is negative, U is positive, is it not? U is positive, and then that is negative, it is not. And now, if you take that X point, if you take that X point, the wave should move D by DT of zeta. I'm trying to explain physically the movement of the wave <coughs> controlled by the touch. If you can see how the wave moves. This is very, very important. Whatever you put on the vapor equation, you should see that in the atmosphere, the movement. So, U d is it of it, d x is negative. Is it not? <coughs> so, if you take what turn on the right positive view, that if you take any point to the east center x, theta should increase. Is it not? Theta should increase. The vortex should move eastward. Is it not? You see, u is positive. If you take any point to the east of x, to the east of X, I think there is negative, yeah, U is positive, and this term, first of all, uh, D 
by dt of theta in minus u d by dx. Because on this side it is u, on the left side d by dt of theta plus u d theta of it is plus beta of it is not. So there is a negative signal sign on the it's not put under the board. But there is a negative sign u so it is negative d theta by it is negative. So zeta should increase if it moves, for example, the dex from east to west, east to west, zeta will further decrease, but it should increase. So zeta, there is a negative not put, there is an error on that. There is minus u d zeta by dx. Minus u d zeta by dx. Why? Because in the what's the equation, d by dt of f plus zeta is equal to Rho zeta by rho plus u d by dx. If you take on the other side, there is an negative sign there. So x point d zeta of it, dx is negative. And if u is positive, there is a negative sign. So total it is positive. And d by d zeta, d by dt of zeta should increase. We see there in the board, the center, if it moves from east to west, 3, 2, 1, 0, and up. So if it moves from east to west, what is it will decrease. On the other hand, if it moves from west to east, then what is it will increase. Or, as we all know, you can precisely, there is a zonal wind, there is a wave, the zonal wind simply adverts towards the Lower wave, wave, lower side of the U. U simply westerly. For example, there is western. Put a ball. Takes away. Takes away. From east, from west to east. Is it not? That simply advection. Okay? This is correct. There is minus U D by DX of zeta. Minus U D by DX of zeta. So if you take a point X, Take a point x, d by dx of zeta, left minus right minus left. That's d by dx. So 1 minus 3, minus 3. And uh, is it not minus 3? There is a negative u positive. There is a negative sign. So it's totally positive. The what it should increase. What three with time, what it should increase? If the vortex, this vortex, if it moves from east to west, you know not, what city will further decrease. If it moves from west to east, what city will increase. So the wave should move from west to the east or in a westerly zonal current. Very, very simple, you can perceive also. And one of the important things is whatever you get the answer, First, you should have perception. This answer you are getting correct or not. Suppose there is a westerly zone sign. Keep away something like that. What you should do? You should advert further. You will advert further east. So, in the case, case the vortex is advected downstream from west to east. That is the U d by dx of zeta minus. Now, no more important is minus beta of it. The so-called beta term. <coughs> now, this term is the so-called beta term. At the point x, v is not in the anti-clockwise, low. So, v is positive. V is positive. Southern lines, okay? And because of cyclonic, anti-clockwise, you know, circulation, V is positive, greater than zero. V is positive, greater than zero. So D by D of zeta is negative. Is it not? D by D is negative. How it will decrease if it moves from east to west? Okay? Get X, if it moves from east to west, it becomes 
थ्री टू वन जीरो माइनस तो द बीच और टर्म बेटर्स द बीच और टर्म इट एडवेंस फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू द बेस्ट टिपिकली दिस इज द टिपिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द रॉसबी वेज द रॉसबी वेज बाय बीच और मोव फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू बेस्ट फॉर एग्जांपल in the case of the monsoon the indian monsoon there is a source in required rainfall and in the case of brazil the eastern brazil the eastern brazil and in the case of monsoon season june july august for the southern hemisphere it is winter or at summer for the southern hemisphere it is winter and For the coast of northeast Brazil, the coast of northeast Brazil, the epoch of rainfall is winter. For us, Madras, that region, also winter. Northeast monsoon is the epoch of rainfall. Okay, you all know that, isn't it? For Madras side, Tamil Nadu, epoch. Of rainfall, the winter, not summer. Other parts of India get rainfall in June, July. But east in Tamil Nadu, south coast, know that or not? <coughs> For the northeast monsoon, rainfall is winter. Whereas in the case of Brazil, the eastern coast of eastern coast of northeast, again same thing, very very similar. And there also, it is the winter monsoon that gives rainfall for east. And I just started research recently, last June, July. There were lots of rain, flood. Many people died. The cause of probably this could have been predicted. How? I think uh, I think that the Indian monsoon rainfall, for example, in uh, Pakistan, there's a lot of rainfall. Flood is there, so there is high rainfall. This is a heat source, and that generates probably a Rossby wave propagating from east to west, east to west, because in the ocean, in the ocean, you there's no you you zero. What you have is Divided by zeta equals to minus beta v. So typically, remember this. Typically, remember, all the waves move from east to west. From east to west. If there is a zonal current, if that is not the nature of the Rossby wave. If there is a zonal current, relative motion, but the absolute motion. For the case of U G O, all the waves move from east to west in the ocean. Is it not in the man in any zone called as U G O? The nature of the all the wave, the nature of the all the wave, because of the beta term there, they move from east to west. So, I suggested a research. Suppose. You have high rainfall in India, southern India, near equator, and that may force a Rossby wave. Rossby wave. You all know Gill theory. Gill, Marcino Gill. I derived the whole Marcino paper in mathematics and all. He solves what's called Schrodinger equation. The apertures of my nose. There are solutions of mathematics also. I think you have. Where is it? Where is it? I send. I can send after I go to the shop to move your uh, register here. I can send it, and he can distribute. I have completely derived step by step. And there in Portuguese, brothers they say, "chin chin for chin chin." That means step by step. Nothing is left. Each derived. I have derived that, and also I have appendix about the nature of the mathematics, what is function, all that. I did completely. This I have been teaching 
for the last almost 40 50 years i have thorough knowledge but about i learned by school mathematics i got a book maths on walk theoretical math theoretical physics and applied math for 3 months i learned my solution of partial differential equations series solutions in the mushroom paper for me it is as important as the rose we discovery you all heard the equatorial trapped waves kelvin wave rose gravity wave you heard is it not kelvin wave kelvin wave is a gravity wave kelvin wave typically moves way from east to west probably it's a gravity wave mixed rose with gravity wave the other way around there are another important thing, as I was telling the other day. Normally, in meteorology, we fit theory to observations. In the case of Matsuno, first he got the mathematical solution. Then everybody went to see in the nature whether they exist or not. First he got the solution. In the paper, you can easily get to that. It's available in the internet. Matsuno, 90, T. Matsuno, 1966. General of British Society of Japan. You see on Gold Seek and download that. In the Akron, in the end, maybe end of a completely zero. It will be very interesting if these waves exist in nature. You first go on the solution, and you, and people went like that. And Yanai Maruyama, in the observation, there is called Mission Rothbard Gravity Wave. There is Walskowski Kelvin Wave. Later they found in nature. First they discovered in theory. That is the only way. All others they just to put theory to observations. Anyway, now compute. This is the beta effect. Pi formation master tool now. Yeah, pi general inka. Next. And now, now I told you that these waves. There is no energy source. Is it not? So the waves are neutral waves. They don't grow. So they cannot explain weather. The weather, we see small, innocent wave, growth, growth, um, depression, deep depression, then uh, like that it grows on. Category 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is wind increase. Kinetic energy increase. It is getting kinetic energy from somewhere. And so the waves are unstable. Whether it is tropical cyclone related to say, the weather producing phenomena in nature are unstable waves. Remember that. Because why? Because it has to grow or the low should become. Deep depression, then uh, how do you say it? I am getting Portuguese words. Then uh, it's a furacan. Furacan means uh, storm, storm. Category 1, 2, 3. Wind increases. You know how it is categorized? Category 1, 2, 3. How? How? What is the scale? What, what is called the scale name? Huh? Saffir Simpson scale. Remember that. The Saffir Simpson scale that gives category 1, 2, 3 according to the wind speed. You know, please hear. In the context of the climate change, people are saying that category 5 is no more the maximum. Probably may have to start category 6. You may imagine that and already category 5 is so terrible, destructive. If there is category 6 becoming common, is not? It's becoming calamity. Is not? They say the so called category 5 is not sufficient anymore because the North Atlantic cyclone has become more and more intense. Maybe you might have to start category 6. So, yeah, our time is over. I am 82. It's all for you. Maybe you will feel in future category 6, 7, maybe, I don't know. Be prepared for it. For me, it's not necessary anymore. 
<laughs> anyway, so we'll stop here. And now you see, as I said, Bill, these are all neutral waves. And how is it in nature? The real atmosphere. Here you see the diagram by Professor Charney. There is a big book, Compendium of Meteorology. You all know? Some of you must have heard it. Compendium. You know the meaning of compendium? Compendium is Sangraham. There is a collection of everything. Sangraham, something like that. So there are many, many articles. In that, there is one article with, I think, numerical weather prediction by Professor Charney. He reported the wave number exactly and the amplitude square. Why square? Wind. If it is V, amplitude. V square, what it gives? Huh? Kinetic energy. So energy. Amplitude square gives the energy. Is it not? So that is A square. You see, there are two clear peaks. One at between 2 and 3, and another 7 and 8. Please pay attention. This 2 and 3 is very, very narrow. Whereas seven, eight, nine, a little bit broad. A little bit. This is absurd. This is absurd. You see, mean spectral distribution of kinetic energy of the north-south motion, V motion, at 500 millibar, 45 degrees north. You give all the data. I cannot stop in town. Anyway, that is sufficient for us. So it is the V component. That means A means V, A square means V square. That is V square or V square by 2, kind of energy. So there are two peaks. Pattern, this is important, very, very important. This is not. But all of you are dosing, please. See this, sir. See this, sir. Between 2 and 3, between 2 and 3, there is a peak. Very narrow. And 7, 8, 9, a little bit broad. These two peaks in nature are due to the first peak is what are called by the first peak. There are many senior fossils, they do not hear. What is the first peak? The first peak is mainly because of what are called stationary waves. Stationary wave. And the stationary wave. Which is wrong? Which is wrong? Two, three, or eight? Which is long wavelength? Two, three, or eight? Huh? Which is long wave? Huh? Two, three. So these two, three are very long wave because wave number is one by L. As I said, not two by L. Two by A cos by L. That's the number. So two, three, very long waves. And seven eight. So the first peak is due to the first peak is due to what are called stationary wave. Stationary wave. That is again. This is about the Charney. There is a famous paper, Charney and Elias. Hear me. I read the description. Another very, very important thing is, as Rod and Edward and Rosen said, what all you want to explain through equations, you can definitely explain without putting numbers, without putting symbols, A and B. Could be just in writing as rigorous as the equation. So, what I am saying is, imagine this, wave number 2, 3, that is, in the nature, these are stationary waves. And uh, wave means very low in nature. And they are stationary. They are always there. Summer, winter, like this, for example. In the atmosphere, in the atmosphere, try to think. Anyway, see, there is a wave, stationary wave, is it not? At some high, it's high, low, high. And 
It is always there. Imagine, there is a current. So, what can generate this? There should be something permanent and varying in energy. High, low, what is it? Mountain. Okay, mountain is always there. And at what time it is high? Low, other way. So, Charni and Elias, 1949, tell us. You know the journal will tell us? Tell us. Tell us. You should not say tell us. It's together. Tell us. The Swedish journal, started by Professor Rosby himself, first issue in 1949. In that, there is Charni Elias, another landmark part. A lot of mathematics, don't worry. You just read it. It's available. You get it in the internet. And like our case, everything you have to know in the internet. Just put a button, it is there. Put a button, Charney speaks. Put a button, Rosby speaks. Put a button, Salman speaks. Is it not? Speaks. It is there. It's always there. So you get all those, you can get this. Charney Elias, the very first issue founded by Charles. Professor Rosby itself. So the explanation, the explanation I gave was Professor V.P. Starr. V.P. Starr, a professor of what you call MIT, or the PhD guide of Salzman, many, many things. One of the extraordinary general circulation experts, general circulation experts. Edward L. Lawrence, a famous man, I read his one uh, description. He said he got all the main of his ideas from Professor Victor Paul Star, this VP star. And also now, so imagine there is something permanent wave. One side is high, one side is low, it's going on. So what can force it? Over there it is there, always there, mountain. So if there is a current, it rises, down and up. So one of the four things for stationary road weaving is mountain. Is mountain. And another, you heard that very important, the Professor Ralph Salzman, the, that uh, editor, what he did is he took the 500 millibar Joe potential, January, February, March, April, like put it to hormone canals. Where number? Two, three, January, February, March. There is no phase difference. It is always there. But there are some waves. There is amplitude, but there is 180 degrees phase difference. So one is mountain, the other 180 phase degree. Land is cool, water is warm. Isn't it? In winter, in summer, the other way around. The phase changes. So, so there could be stationary wind by land and sea contact. Land and sea, stationary heat sources and sea. These two are two classical papers. Charney Elias, 49, J. Smagrowski. 1953, Quarterly Journal of Royal Meteorological Society. Charney Elias on Mountain, Mavaramaski, PT. Now, anyway, the last question for you today. Are monsoons, or a sort of stationary wave? It is there June, July, August, September. Stationary wave. Do not say stationary wave. What is important? Mountain or heating? Huh? Because in summer it is summer monsoon. In winter it is winter monsoon. There's a clear chain. Is it not? It's more like a monsoon means more forced by heating. Forced. But unfortunately, there is land roll also. It is not easy. It's very highly complicated. The real nature, they are not okay. The mountain says, okay, I'll stop, you act. Then the heating acts. 
Then he did says, no, I will not act. You act to Mr. Mountain. Sir Mountain, it's not like that. The nature says, you Mountain, Mr. Mountain, you Mrs. Lord, you both act. That's how it's going on. So we have summer months, both are important. Winter months, both are important. And maybe many other things. And of late, isn't it? Huh? Of late, the very, very young boy or young child, what is that? Climate change. <laughs> it's coming up now. Small. They are all very, very old. Old <laughs> mountain, very old ocean, but the very young climate change. All together complicated. And this boy is very, very naughty. He is not. He always very, very naughty. So we will stop at that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Slide we will share. So, the so not today, day after. No, day, day after. after. Same, time. Day after. Same time? Same time. Same time here. I think I will give a uh, my paper which is published in uh, recently 22, 22. Yeah. I have uh, the paper I will give on that. Yeah. You all heard uh, again classical theory. You all heard irrational form, irrational form flux, irrational form theory. I will talk about it. Do not. So you see the climate change, how naughty. It destroys everything. He's a naughty boy. Climate change. Is it not? Maybe not boy. Right. Okay, so uh, if you have any doubts or questions, please come to me and you can or tell him. If you have any doubts, you can discuss it.